Hi guys, so uh, today I'll be uh, continuing working on my uh, front suspension on uh, Mercedes-Benz uh, C280. <clears throat> what I wanted to mention, again, if you can, uh, get the correct spring compressor. It's that Mercedes-Benz spring compressor. It's right here in the corner, has this little box. Works awesome, feels really safe. Okay, now on the subject of the bushings. So, very quickly, when you're gonna be buying your bushings, um, ask the questions or um, for measurements, because you what you're gonna see is, this is the original bushing, and you can see that this hole is almost three quarter um, in diameter. It basically necks down in the middle somewhere, but the ends are open wide. Um, the new bushings that I've bought, and you can see that the size is much, much smaller. And what problem that creates is that the original bolts, uh, they look like that, uh, they have a big shoulder. You don't see it here. I tried machining it off and reusing these bolts, but uh, after some uh, soul searching I decided to get the right hardware so um, <clears throat> one uh, word of advice um, check your bushings or ask the question see um, that inner sleeve diameter just make sure that uh, you might need to buy um, the new bolts now after I hit that little snag finally the I got the bolts so the new bolts you can see they look pretty much like that. Um, looks almost like an ordinary bolt except has a groove at the end if you see and has the special washers um, that have this piece uh, stamped on the end. Now what these bolts are doing they basically um, um, it's, it's they actually call them uh, caster camber repair kit what they do they give you additional three millimeters basically uh, in and out so total six millimeters additional adjustment to uh, to get your camber and caster if say probably i don't know if the vehicle was in an accident and uh, the body's a little bit off and something um so uh yeah, the reason for that because my uh, original bolt would not fit into this bushing, so I had to get this bolt. So, like I said, today I got the hardware, so uh, I'll be putting this thing back together. Okay, well, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, so uh, we'll start from uh, putting the lower arm bolt joint in. And uh, so I got this bolt joint. Down. Okay, take the cap off. So that's the bolt joint. Well, I need to have a hex. So you can hold it. Okay, so tight and the manual calls for. 105 newton meters. Okay, so uh, 105 newton meters. That looks like about 80 foot pounds. Okay, so that's about 80. 
See if I can do that. Okay, so that's 80. So before I go, so uh, both nuts, you can see uh, this nut and this nut on the ball joint is uh, goes to 105 newton meters, and the bolts they get torqued to 120 newton meters, and the nut, this little uh, two little nuts on the torsion arm those ones get torqued to uh, 20 newton meters okay so the one thing to notice is uh, the bolts get inserted from forward to the back and you can see that uh, you're gonna see the holes are different this one's just oblong kind of a and this one has some uh, like centering points or something so uh, <clears throat> okay. Okay, and that's two. Well, guys, half an hour later, and I'm uh, still haven't made a lot of progress. If you can see, I just had to take everything apart because I uh, I had to drill out that little pin that holds the the ball joint. I didn't realize that uh, where's the ball joint. If, if you look here, uh, where can you see it? Basically, you see that little hole there. So there's a pin inserted, and the new ball joint. And the new ball joint has a pin. Oh, let me see where is it. Uh, can see it? Oh, here. So uh, you can see that the new ball joint has a pin and it looks like it's pressed in even though you, if you really try you can pull it out but uh, I looked at the in the manual and they actually show the pin being installed on the, on the ball joint so uh, I ended up trying trying and take it out and I bent the hell the shit out of it so uh, uh, where is it so I ended up basically drilling out the pin so it looks like I got it out I didn't destroy the hole so um, yep now I'm gonna start putting everything back okay so you can see that little pin over here so I'll have to put it back put it on the ball joint and knock it in okay now I can take the arm Okay. 
Okay. Well, I won't be replacing the old nuts, so... I need to find my blue Loctite. Okay, so we're going to take the brake caliper off. Um, so basically it's an M13 in the back and you need to hold the nut on this side. So uh, I use a vice grip just to basically uh, I clamp it because the nut will be turning. So just clamp it. And uh, then just take off the two bolts in the back. Okay. Okay, that's one. Okay, two. Now, not sure if you can see. So now you need to disconnect the this thing over here. You're gonna see. This is the brake pad sensor. So you just let's see. You just pull this thing off. And it's basically just like that. Yeah, so just pull it off so you don't break it. Okay, now we're just gonna pull this caliper off and we're gonna hang it on, on the arm there in the back. Okay. Okay, now you can I'm gonna pull and spec the brake pads, which are good. Yeah, this look okay. Okay, now down to the bracket. So now we need to take off this bracket. Yeah, so this is an 18 millimeter. So, and I know you're gonna need a breaker bar because I loctited them last time. I uh, I replaced the brake orders. Yeah, this one. Oh, come on. Okay, 
like it. Need a break, bigger breaker bar. Okay, so instead of using this, uh, if you can see the whole thing, I'm going to be using this. Oh man, this is tight and really good. Okay, so the bracket came off, now would be a good, a good time to paint it, but I just didn't think about it. Okay, okay now the hub has to come off. So the cap comes off. Okay, so I uh, got my Allen key. Now we just need to take off this, loosen up the the little screw on the back, and then we're gonna take off this nut, and then the the whole rotor is gonna come off. Okay, this is loose. Okay, so I got my gloves. So this is held by <clears throat> the three little screws. If you can see, there's three screws. There's one, two, and three down there. So uh, um, Loosen up the screws, but don't try to pull this off because before that you need to uh, There's a bracket in the back for the speed sensor so we need to loosen up that uh, take the bolts and uh, um, same time Pull the speed sensor out. Otherwise you're gonna wreck the speed sensor. It's right here. You can see it Seating so you can't pull this well, maybe if you try but I prefer to take those bolts out pull the speed sensor and then pull this cover off and you can see how much Loctite this car is 20 years old and this bolts are no rusty nothing in this the Loctite is holding up very well yeah, if you're using, use the metric, the right uh, hex, uh, otherwise you're gonna wreck the bolts. And the best thing is uh, uh, don't try and 
put too much pressure. Basically, if, if you feel the bolts is hard to remove, just get the bolt, make sure it sits there, and then just apply pressure. Uh, let me take this off. Basically, okay, put some pressure and just hold it. And it's gonna come out easy. So let's not pull it all the way. And this one's here. Okay, so we got the three bolts. I'm gonna need my Torx. Yeah, it's a T30. So you can see the little, there's a little bracket right. No, ah, you can't see, guys. Let's see if I can show you. So it's the bracket right here. There's a two torques screws and that's the one we need to take off. Okay, I'll take them off and uh, I'll be okay, right Okay, so uh, apparently I lied. The Torx is a T35. So you loosen up the bracket in the back and then the thing comes off nicely. Um, yeah, I'll wash it later. I just can put it in the back. Okay, so still need to take the bracket off because I want to take the steering knuckle off. Okay, so we got everything uh, cleaned up. I've taken, uh, taken this nut off, so I just leave the nut and uh, I can use it just to uh, to hammer on that uh, on 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 that nut, just don't hammer too hard, and make sure you don't hammer on the threads. So next, I'm gonna loosen up, take off this nut. Okay, let's. Okay, and if you noticed, there's a little hex inside, so uh, usually when you try to take the nut off, the thing will start spinning in it. So to hold it from spinning, I think it's an M5, I just insert there and uh, you'll be able to hold it and then turn the nut off. Okay, so basically take a hammer and just knock it in here and the thing is going to come off loose. This one came loose pretty good. Didn't have to hammer too hard. Okay, now the top one. Okay, so you can see the top one's off. I'm 
right, now the steering thing link comes off and the knuckle comes off and that's the steering knuckle is off. Just make sure, see I got some uh, dirt on this grease so I'll have to clean it up and uh, re put new grease in. Okay, I'm uh, off to uh, removing this little pin so uh, I'll be back when I'm done. Okay guys, well I got this thing drilled out almost and so uh, there's a tiny little like a shell around so all I need to do just basically um, try to fold it in and then remove the thing. Well I'll be back when it's done. Okay guys so uh, got all the parts ready uh, the pin, I got the pin out, uh, drilled it out, so now we're just gonna assemble in uh, reverse order and uh, so we're gonna start from uh, putting the lower control arm in and it's a matter of just you take the arm, you slide it in, uh, okay, you just need to put some, you need to put some uh, bushing lube in and uh, already cleaned up the surfaces so just put some uh, um, some uh, that lubricant for the bushings in so it wouldn't squeak I guess and uh, then we're just gonna slide the bolts and you slide the bolts from the front to the back and put some good amount of nevises on them so it wouldn't squeak also on that steel uh, and uh, after that we'll put the washer and the nut and uh, when I'm done I'll be back. Okay, so uh, I got the lower arm in. Um, I tightened the bolts just a little, like you don't, you're not, you're not, uh, uh, later on uh, you're supposed to torque the bolts when it's, uh, the arm is loaded, like in driving position. Then you torque those bolts to 190 uh, Newton meters. Um, for now, I just basically snug them. Okay, and the next we're gonna, I'm gonna put the lower ball joint in. <clears throat> so it, uh, we'll put the the lower ball joint in, and uh, we'll put it on the arm because later on it's kind of hard to to get to it. Okay, now I need to remember. Okay, so steering knuckle, steering knuckle goes like that, the ball joint goes like so, okay, so we'll get the arm up and we're gonna put the joint on the bottom. Like this. Put the night up on and we're gonna torque it to uh, uh, it's 105 newton, uh, newton meters that's about 80 uh, 80 foot pounds and, uh, and we're gonna hold you're gonna hold the pin and put an m5 over here otherwise it's gonna be spinning And if I remember correctly, try to remember, I think it's a 19 millimeters. No, it's not, it's, I think it's 22. Uh, where's my range? Yeah, it's a 22 millimeter. Okay. Got it in. Now just need to torque. Uh, 80 foot pounds. Okay, 80. Okay, that's 80. Can you get a 22 millimeter socket? If I can find my 22 millimeter right here. Oh, 
Okay, so this one's done. Now, now we're gonna put the steering knuckle in. So, that's pretty straightforward. Get down, slide the bottom in. Make sure the pin is engaged, like so. Put the nine on. Okay. And the thing is in the way. Okay, and we're gonna put Okay, this is an old nut, so uh, I'll uh, have to put some Loctite in, even though it's a, like a locking nut, but I prefer to put some Loctite. Okay. Let's bring it up. Okay, we got that, and we got the nut in the back, so I know this one's torqued to same torque as, uh, same torque, uh, let me go down, so same torque as this one, which is 80, this one, I'm gonna have to go double check what's the torque on that, so let's torque the one we know. So it's uh, 45 newton meters for, for this nut, so that's about 35 foot-pounds. gonna put this steering okay, arm in. So this joint that uh, says it's a 50 newton meters so that's somewhere between 40 35 and 40 uh, foot pounds and you need to hold it on the bottom initially with the M5 otherwise the the pin is spinning so uh, you hold that you tighten it then you torque it to uh, 50 newton meters and you're done. <laughs> 